Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell here, of course. We are now pleased to be joined by the one, the only Eric Smith from the Eric Smith Race Review. How's it going, man? Good, man. Thanks for having me. Um, now we're still trying to get over that truck race last night at the Daytona Road Course. Uh, I, I mean, we were just talking about it before. I'm like, my goodness, what was that? <laughs> that was that was a mess. That was almost a three hour, fifty one lap, <laughs> like. You can't even blame the rain for it either. I don't know what exactly just, I get it's a road course and a lot of these guys have a lot of experience on there, but yeah, I I was, I I saw Gluck's tweet about yelling at the TV when the, uh, when Ben Rhodes is about to take the white flag and they threw the yellow. It's like, ah, (laughs) I was kind of feeling the same way. Just let's get this thing over with. Yeah. So, I mean, but overall, I mean, looking, it's, uh, you know, the race length and st- oh, not looking at the race length and stuff. Ben Rhodes, my goodness. Of course, yeah. you know, we talked about years ago. It's like, uh, when is he going to win a truck race? It's, uh, yeah. you know, he's won two and, you know, he's won two in a row now. Last four races, he hasn't finished worse than seventh. So, I mean, it looks like the switch to Thor, switch to Toyota is working out for Thor Sport, I see. It really is. I and mean, he, he, I know it's obviously way early, but I mean, he looks like a championship contender. He's, he's won on a road course. He's won on a super speedway. It's, it's, he won Darlington last year. It's, it's funny. He keeps saying these are the biggest ones of his career. Granted, last night he didn't say that, but the week before he did. And he's got Kentucky, his home track. He's got Darlington. Now he's knocked off two at Daytona and, and he's rolling. I, I think he looks legitimate. Like he, he, you could just kind of sense the confidence kind of building in him that, uh, and I forgot he's only 23 years old for what some reason I, I thought he was older. So he's doing it right. He's with a Toyota and and who knows with, if he keeps this up, maybe an Xfinity ride or something will open up later for him. You know, you look at, yeah. Um, you look at Ben Rhodes and you look at, uh, you look at Sheldon Creed, who's also been pretty impressive as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, looks like that's a pretty um, interesting dynamic that's going to play out throughout <laughs> the season is between those two guys in the truck series. Yeah, they look like the, the favorites. I mean, Sheldon was right there again last night. He's they both obviously two top. I think Sheldon was seventh or something, six, something like that on the oval. Um, he looks good and I feel bad for Zane Smith. I, I thought he was gonna be a championship contender this year, and he's got wrecked twice now and fortieth and sixteenth are his two finishes, but it's still early. They got a week off to to think about it and and go to a uh Vegas in a couple weeks but yeah I, right now it's looking like a it's gonna be a fun battle between Rhodes and Creed and uh Nimichek's right there so this could be a fun year in the trucks yeah it is uh, of course the trucks will be in Vegas in two weeks all right we got Xfinity today cup yep. tomorrow on the road course gonna are we gonna see a repeat of last night I don't think I, I don't think we are I don't think so I, again nothing against some of the talent some of the guys in the truck series it, it almost seemed like some of them just didn't have a lot of the talent on the road course. I get it. But uh, I, I think you got a lot of guys in Xfinity that know what they're doing. Um, real top heavy, Cindric, Almondinger, and those guys are obviously the favorites, the class to the field on the road course for a reason. Uh, um, I think we'll see longer green flag runs uh, today, this evening. Uh, 52 laps, I'm still kind of questioning, is it, does this race need to be 52 laps? Just with a three mile, 3.61 mile track, you're going to have stage breaks. We know we're going to see some cautions. It, it just drags the race out because it's about a four minute lap under yellow. Uh, so I hope we don't get long yellows. I like Mike Joy's tweet this morning about local yellows. Um, obviously, you know, from being up in, in the Detroit area, I know I've seen you at Bell Isle before, and you know, sometimes you get a local yellow, you know, in the concrete barrier. And it's, can we get some local yellows that maybe speed this, these races up a little bit, but I think we're going to see a, a great show today and, and tomorrow even better. I, I feel like we, we might see some, some last lap shenanigans that somebody might move somebody to get a win and that chicane. So I expect that today, at least. Um, you, you mentioned a few favorites you got, of course you got Cindric, of course you got Almondinger. Um, yep. Who else do you really consider? Do you, you know, the JM, uh, the JRM cars? I mean, yeah. I Herbst was impressive last night in the truck. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you get Moffitt starting on the pole. Yeah, I say Moffitt's to me is a good value, great sleeper. I, he he won a truck race on the uh, up at Canada a couple of years ago, and he's not a bad road course racer. And and he's starting right there in the front row. Um, finished second on the oval last weekend, so uh, I, he's got some momentum. Uh, Miguel Paluto got my eye on him. See what he can do with a junior motorsports car. I know it's been several years, 
Um, but it's like riding a bike, I would think, to him. He's a road course ace, so I'd be curious what he can do in a junior car on, on the road course. Uh, Gregson always seems to mix it up, Allgaier. Um, so I, there's several guys that I wouldn't be shot. Terrison Burton looked good on the Roval last year in the rain until all that shenanigans happened in the rain down there in Charlotte. But uh, I think he has several guys that uh, if not – if Cindric and Allgaier – don't run away with – not all guy, Almendinger, don't run away with this thing. I think you're going to see five to seven guys right there that, that could pounce. And and who knows, you could get some strategy plays. That's what I like about the road course too in Daytona. And we saw it in the clash that pit stops and short pitting and fuel only two tires. You you could you could play around with some strategy plays that could make this thing interesting too. Of course, you got Andy Lally in there at the 99 as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, um, from the IMSA – from the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. So, um, of course, Andy knows. He's been in cup cars before, so he knows what yep. it's like. And speaking of the cup series, they'll be, of course, on there Sunday tomorrow. Oh, um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. You know, yeah, we- all the talk about heading in after the Daytona 500 was two things. One, Michael McDowell winning, of course. And two, the battle between the two Penske guys. Oh, last oh yeah. Out. Yeah, that that was interesting. Really interesting there. To see how they, you know, operate and work out there. Yeah, their their Zoom call yesterday with Logano was interesting. Just I would have thought they would have talked by now, and I was shocked they haven't. Um, I get it. Let kind of let cooler heads prevail, but he mentioned they're going to talk. I I, don't, I would expect anything between them much past this weekend. I, I think they'll play nicely. Um, their teammate to me is going to be the one to watch. Blaney. He seems to be better on road courses than those two. I, I've looked at the stats, and it, it's not great for Kozlowski. but 0 for 23, I believe, on road courses. And Logano hasn't won in a while on a road course. So Blaney's the one out of that camp to watch. I think they'll play nicely. but And I put that in a piece yesterday about how in Daytona you had the clash with two friends, Blaney and Elliott, uh, two of the best friends on off the track in the, in the sport. Um, and then you got Logano and Keselowski teammates who are considered good friends. Uh, if it wasn't for Keselowski, uh, Logano may not be with Penske. Keselowski was a big advocate of bringing them on from Gibbs when he got let go. And, and here they've got drama. So you've had two last lap drama and two of the, uh, uh, four races and cup series down in the speed weeks last week. So does any of that carry over? Um, Elliot's mentioned yesterday about, he hasn't really watched a lot of the, the tape from the clash, but he did watch enough to, to learn what to do differently uh, if that situation happens again tomorrow. And, and look, he's won four in a row on road courses, so we know he's going to be there. And I Do you use the bumper? Just, hey, apologize later, get the win because of how unpredictable this year is going to be. He might. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm interested how tomorrow is going to go. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be really interesting to see. Um, you know, Chase is obviously going to be the favorite because, of course, he's run, ran all these road courses, but – Toyotas seem pretty strong at the clash. Are they oh, yeah. Toyotas the ones to be? I think so. I, I think Truex, uh, I, I wasn't – look, at him and Elliot have combined to win eight of the last nine road course races, and and you kind of forget about Truex because of Elliot's dominance lately. But Elliot pointed to Truex. He thought he was the favorite anyways in the clash, and, and you saw how good he did. So him, Hamlin finished second in the road course in uh, last August. So – He's, he did great in the clash. He's right there. And, and Kyle won the clash. And, and Kyle, as good as he is on road courses, he hasn't done great on rovals. I, I think his three Charlotte finishes were like 32nd, 37th, and 30th. And here he comes into Daytona and wins it. So you can't you can't overlook him. And, and Christopher Bell is not a terrible road course racer. I know he's not great at it. He said he's that hasn't been one of his favorite type of circuits. But we saw what Eric Jones did in that car the last few years, just escape the wrecks keep it a clean race, keep all four tires on the track and let well, other people take themselves out and you're there in the end. So uh, yes, I would say as a collective group, the Gibbs guys and Toyota has got to be the ones to watch. Yeah. We'll see how it all plays out. Eric Smith, always a pleasure to talk with you and uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to do this again sometime. Oh, absolutely. Anytime, man. Yeah. I appreciate you having me.